Hello everybody, I'm Jose and this is the Jose Show Movies. This is my mini review for the 2016 film made by Sang Ho Hyun, sorry if I messed that up, entitled Train to Busan. What is Train to Busan? I'm glad somebody asked. Actually, nobody asked, but I just said that just for, you know, comedy value. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. Anyway, um, this film is one hour and 58 minutes. It doesn't seem that long. It's kind of slow in the beginning. But once they get on the train to Busan, man, that's when all the action takes place. Now, it's supposed to be a horror film. To me, there's some action. Um, and there is a little bit of uh, sadness in the film as well. But once you watch it, you'll see. Basically, there's this gentleman that has a daughter that lives with her grandmother. And apparently, he lives there too. And he seems like he works in some type of stock market. And so he's more focused on that than his child. So his child wants to go to Busan to visit her mother. And she asked her dad if uh, she can ride the train alone. And he really doesn't want her to go alone. So basically he decides to take her. So they get on this train and, you know, everything is all hunky-dory. It's fine. You know. Okay. So they're on this train and, um, you know. I like trains. I wish we had a high-speed train over here. Um, I think the only thing we have is Amtrak. I don't know if we have any bullet trains. But anyway, this train looks pretty neat. Um, and as they start going, you know, um, all aboard the choo-choo train. All aboard the choo-choo train. All aboard. All aboard. Okay. So, next thing you know, there's like infected people that turn into zombies. And it seems like the whole world basically has zombies in them. And there's no place to go. Now, these zombies, man, let me tell you, uh, good lord, it didn't take them long to change. Once somebody got bit, boom, they were like zombies, like, <laughs> you know, wah, like, I didn't get scared because it wasn't really that scary. Um, it was more thrilling. I was at the edge of my seat, holding on like this, and I'm like, oh my goodness, look at this, like, oh, oh my goodness. But anyway, I would not want to be on that train because once you're on that train, there's nowhere to go when zombies are coming after you. I mean, you can only go forward to where the uh, conductor is or you can go into the back. And um, But if they're in the back, you got to go to the front. And if they're in the front, you got to go into the back. So basically, you're kind of stuck unless you open the window or open the door and jump out. And try doing that when that train is like hauling butt down the track. So anyway, um, I really like this film. Um, to me, I think it's going to be a classic. I heard they're coming out with a part two. Um, I mean, the zombies, they were just very aggressive. Um, there would be no way that I could get away from them if I had to run away from them while I'm on the ground. Because, man, them things were like just a running. I mean, they were just running super fast. And me, I'm in like in slow motion. So, you know, if you got a couple hours to kill, check this film out. I guarantee you won't be sorry. To me, it's like the best zombie flick that I have ever seen. Um, I've seen The Walking Dead, and I've seen a few other zombie flicks. And to me, this is no comparison. If you was to put one of these zombies up against The Walking Dead zombies, well, the Train to Busan zombies will they'll definitely win. So anyway, check it out. Thank you for watching my mini-review. Um, I try my best to do these, and I do appreciate everybody's time. Uh, when you get a chance, please share, please subscribe, and please leave a comment. I do appreciate your time. Thank you, and have a good day.